Welcome back to Those Vegan Chefs. I'm Stefan, and this channel is dedicated to making you a better vegan cook. Today we have an incredible vegan recipe that will redefine your perception of meatballs. In this video, we will guide you through the steps of creating a delicious, flavorful eggplant meatball. So let's get cooking. We have tons of eggplant right now during summer, and I love this recipe because it's really straightforward. I like to leave the skin on. I think it's, an, it's a texture that works just fine with our eggplant ball. So we're just gonna cut nice big chunks. Obviously they don't have to be perfect because we're gonna mash this up. Diced eggplant, it's a, it was a medium size globe eggplant. We're gonna add our teaspoon mushroom seasoning. I'm gonna give that a mix, start to coat the eggplant. We're gonna give a generous coating of olive oil. If you're not into eating olive oil, you could leave it out. We're gonna hit it with a little drizzle of balsamic. It's that simple right there. Spread our eggplant out evenly. It's okay if it's a little crowded. The key is making sure the eggplant is really nice and soft and tender. It's okay if we get a little color on some of the the outer edges, bam, off to the oven. With the eggplant in the oven is the perfect time to start prepping our diced onion, minced garlic, chopped parsley, chopped basil. So we'll have those items waiting to prep our uh, mix of our eggplant. We're gonna cut the onion pretty fine. We need roughly a half a cup. We're just gonna gently saute the onion, just a little bit of olive oil. We don't have to go crazy with our garlic. Definitely a little garlic heavy on this recipe. It's a very generous tablespoon. We had just over a half a cup of onion. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna go just give these two a quick saute with a little bit of salt. Our eggplant is out of the oven. It was about 35 minutes, a little longer than I expected, but the eggplant is nice and tender. There's a few pieces that are maybe a little bigger chunk that didn't cook just as much as the smaller ones. Totally fine. We have our onions and garlic are complete. Just set the eggplant to the side, let it cool just a, a little bit. And we're gonna finish chopping our parsley and our basil. So those two items are ready to go when we start mixing and thickening the eggplant. I'm gonna do just a rough chop. It doesn't have to be super, super fine. This whole eggplant ball is kind of rustic. So we're just gonna keep in that style. Get our basil chopped. I like a lot of basil in this recipe. Of course, it pairs perfectly with the eggplant. I'm gonna add our eggplant to our mixing bowl. And we're gonna use our fork and we're gonna start mashing the eggplant. The goal is to break up all the pieces and we'll continue to mash, obviously, as we're mixing in the garbanzo bean flour, the breadcrumbs, all the other ingredients. So we're gonna add in our lightly cooked garlic and onion and whatever juice was available from that. A pinch of red chili flake, a tablespoon of nutritional yeast, our parsley and basil. We're gonna mix this up before we add our garbanzo bean flour. You could already see how the eggplant is starting to break up a little bit. We're gonna start with, uh, let's see, two tablespoons. So everybody's recipe is gonna be just a little bit different because every eggplant is gonna have a different moisture content. You're, everybody's gonna cook it just a little bit differently. So what we're really gonna focus on today is trying to convey the texture. You could see it's kind of holding its shape when I pat it down. Okay, we're gonna add a tablespoon of breadcrumb, panko. It smells so good. It has this really kind of umami smell to it. I love it. I think the texture's looking really good. Let's give a taste and see what's happening. Just a pinch of salt. I had seasoned the onions and garlic, and there was a little bit of salt in my mushroom powder. Okay, now the key, we've talked about this in other videos is we have to allow the starches to hydrate the panko breadcrumbs, the garbanzo bean flour. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop this in the refrigerator. Let's go chill. Eggplant is nice and cool. 
you could see that it forms a really nice ball. I'm going to drop it right into our breadcrumb. Coat it. We're going to set it on the plate. Now it's time to cook our eggplant. You can bake these 425, probably 25, 30 minutes. Just kind of keep rotating, but I re for me personally, I really want to get that super crispy golden brown exterior. So our pan is on medium and we're just going to start sauteing them until they are absolutely perfect. We're going to cook the eggplant on top of the stove the whole time. And we're just going to take our time making sure all the sides are golden brown. We may have to add a little more olive oil as it cooks, but you can see we're already getting a little color right there. Patience is the name of the game. As you can see, we're starting to turn the eggplant. We're gonna just make sure we get all the sides. It's really that simple. We pretty much have them golden brown on all sides. We're gonna just pull them out of the pan. We're gonna warm up our tomato sauce. Make sure we get a generous amount of sauce. Beautiful eggplant. And then I'd love to sprinkle the tiny basil leaves right on top. Just a little dusting of the nutritional yeast. What I like about this recipe is the simplicity of the preparation. We're roasting eggplant, it's mixed with garbanzo bean flour, rolled, panko, cooked, golden brown, delicious. It's really that simple. And if you wanna make a tomato sauce, which we have a great recipe for, you can, or you can use your favorite. All comes together to create this delicious bite, which I need to take right now. And I'm gonna just take this whole meatball. Mmm. It's delicious. It's creamy. It has all the flavors of summer. The basil, the eggplant, the tomato. This is a winner, you guys. You need to check it out, so go make it. And as always, I'll see you next week. Bye.